Hey, uh, today I'm talking about the weird guy fit from Naked and Famous and more specifically the recent change to having a higher front rise. I've always been a big fan of the weird guy silhouette with the slimmer leg uh, and sort of a slight taper so it's not too tight around the ankle. Uh, but in my previous experience and over the years, the weird guy fit front rise has always been problematic for me and a lot of people that I've chatted with online as well. It uh, would typically be around 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half inches uh, and kind of feel kind of tight and restrictive in the top block area. Um, but more recently, uh, they're on the, the newer builds. It's had a nice, in, in my size, 12 inch rise. Uh, so they've added about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters to the front rise, which I think is just a really smart move. Uh, and I think makes the jeans fit better, feel better. Uh, and I just uh, wanted to kind of compare some of the older measurements to the newer, uh, show some pictures. And that way, if you're like me, where you'd kind of given up on the weird guy fit, uh, it might be worth revisiting again and, and trying out. Over the years, as I, uh, you know, I had some weird guy fits and uh, because I liked the leg silhouette, uh, but then over time, it just kind of, uh, not discomfort, but just was never pleased with the comfort in that top block. So I moved over to the Easy Guy Fit for a couple years. It had a nice higher rise, still has a higher rise. Um, and it, but the Easy Guy tapers really heavily from the knee down, which is fine. It, I think it still looks good. Um, but I prefer the, the hem width of the Weird Guy, but it was kind of a compromise I made uh, so that I could get that higher rise and have that comfort through the top block. Um, and it was worth it for the, you know, for me to have that comfort and uh, still get some of the nice fabrics that I liked and enjoyed. Uh, but then last year I was looking at the comfort cords that they released and looking at the size guide and noticed the weird guy fit had a 12 inch rise, which really surprised me. So I checked around, uh, cause I hadn't looked at the weird guy fit in so long, I checked around at some of the other new releases and noticed the same thing. Uh, so now I'm back into the weird guy fit and uh, really pleased with it. Still get that same slim leg with a slight taper, but you get a much more comfortable top block. And I think it looks better if you tuck your shirt in. I don't, I don't often, um, but when I do, the, the higher rise definitely looks better with a shirt tucked in. Uh, but there's just much more comfort in there. And because there's a little bit more room in the top block, I find even the leg uh, drapes a bit better. So you still have the same silhouette, but somehow I feel like it just, it just tends to hang a little bit better, feel a little bit better, uh, and look a little bit better. Uh, so here uh, are a couple of pairs of weird guys. This is, this is an old pair of Elephant 2, so this is going way back. Um, and this has a 10 and a quarter inch front rise. All the other measurements are the, the same. The, the waist measurement's the same, the thigh, the knee, the hem. Uh, but you can just see a difference uh, in, in how they fit, how they look with uh, the shirt tucked in. Uh, and then for me wearing them, I can definitely uh, notice a difference in the comfort. Uh, so for me with the Weird Guy fit, I find uh, to get the best fit that I like where you still have that nice slim silhouette, but you don't get that restrictive feeling or that tight feeling um, in the thigh and in the front rise, I take my waist measurement and then I go with a tag size that has a waist an inch larger than that. So for example, my true waist measurement is 33 inches. Uh, so I find the tag size that has a 34 inch waist. And for me, that's just, I like that uh, type of fit where you get a little bit more room in the waist, uh, not so much that it's loose or you even need a belt. Uh, it's just uh, a little bit of room there so that uh, it's not gonna be tight through the top block and thigh. Uh, so for the most part, this is a 32 tag for me, but it's always worth checking the size guide just to be sure. Uh, and so I know changing one measurement, because everything else is, has stayed consistent throughout, changing one measurement seems like a small change, um, but really I think it's a huge improvement. And I've chatted with a lot of people about the weird guy fit and often the feedback is just you know, the, the discomfort you get and how, uh, you know, people have referred to it as, you know, the grape crushing weird guy fit, uh, cause it can be uh, a little bit, uh, tight in the, the groin. Um, but this has really remedied that. And I think, uh, still maintained, uh, the silhouette and the look of the weird guy fit, 
uh, without uh, sacrificing that, but still now getting that comfort uh, through the top block. And I think just the, the look of that top block as well, if you wanna wear it, uh, maybe as a business casual look, I think it'll work for that much better. So yeah, maybe you're like me where you had kind of moved away from the weird guy fit, uh, but I would definitely recommend taking a look at the new the newer pairs uh, and the size guide. I think it, uh, it might be worth revisiting and would definitely recommend trying it out again. Uh, so that's the weird guy fit, uh, you know, a nice, uh, what I would describe as a, a slim straight or some might say a slim taper. I don't find it tapers too, too drastically from the knee down. It fits similar to a lot of slim straights that I've had, uh, but with this new higher rise uh, and that more comfortable top block, I think uh, for me, it's definitely my, my preference for, for fit now and moving forward. So yeah, thank you so much for watching.